What's up, Peak Timers? We just pulled into Toys R Us, and we'll check it out behind me. There it is, Toys R Us, guys. And if you guys are in the US, you know Toys R Us is closed down, but in Canada, Toys R Us is still open. So we got a huge selection of stuff in Toys R Us. I feel like the Hot Wheels selection at Toys R Us in Canada has expanded ever since the US stores have closed down. So let's head on inside and see what they have. All right, we're pulling up to the aisle and you can see right on the front of the aisle, we've got a couple of nice new sets here. This one with this like big dinosaur thing on it and we've got some of the crate racers. We'll go on into the aisle. We've got some more of them right down there and then check out the line of main lines that we have here crazy amount of hot wheels stacked in this aisle they are fully stacked and it looks like pretty much this whole row is just hot wheel stuff so let's have a look at the beginning here we've got the hot wheels 20 pack right here and this is a fairly new 20 pack we got some 2019 cars in there and we got another one behind here we'll move over to these these beetles yellow submarine okay i haven't seen these before these are kind of interesting i don't know how popular Beetles will be as far as Hot Wheels though. I mean, I feel like the people collecting Hot Wheels now maybe wouldn't really care about the Beetles stuff. But uh, let's check it out. We got a 50 pack here, and this one's got the the nice 720S in white. We got the Countach, we got the King Kuda, got some nice newer cars in this 50 pack. We'll pass on that. We got the Mega Hauler. This is the newly revamped Mega Hauler. As you guys know, there was a previous version. This is the newer version of it. I'm not really sure why they changed the variation of the Mega Hauler. And then we've got some sets down here. Check it out. We've got this like electric slot car type of set from Hot Wheels, which is interesting. We got the Super Mario AI and the Hot Wheels AI set. I still haven't got one of these Hot Wheels AIs. I'm still considering picking one up, but uh, for now, I think we'll stick to the regular Hot Wheels. We got some Monster Jam set. Check out this big Monster Jam set. We got six monster trucks included with it, and this is, you know, one of the older sets because it still says Monster Jam. We got the Flame Thrower. Check out this. This is like a bone shaker Hot Wheels toy, and you can press it, and it lights up, and I think the, I think the tires spin on it too. Not really sure. It just seems to be making a lot of noise. Uh, we got some Hot Wheels 2 packs, and you guys know Hot Wheels 2 packs are a little bit rare, and I actually haven't seen them at Toys R Us until this time. So this is kind of cool that we found some two packs. I got lots of them. We got World's Smallest Hot Wheels as well. Check this one out. Got some really, really cool small Hot Wheels. This is Fat Fish. And check out how they are comparison to the regular size Hot Wheels. The regular size Hot Wheels look huge compared to these World's Smallest Hot Wheels. And you can get a bunch of different variations. They're mostly fantasy castings that they make for them. And what is what is this? Check out the packaging on that, Injustice 2. This is really cool, like some pretty fancy packaging. We got this new Batman here. Oops, I'm dropping cars. We'll pick that back up. We'll put that there for a second. We got the Batman Rebirth. That's a pretty interesting character car. There's so many new character cars coming out and uh, there's a whole line of Disney one that's coming out as well. And I'm really looking forward to picking up some of those Disney ones. I still haven't seen them yet. We got lots of Star Wars stuff. We got some short cards here, some Fiat, some fantasy castings. Doesn't look like there's anything too special in there. We'll move on down the aisle. We've got some more Monster Jam stuff. And check this one out. We got this double pack of Monster Jam double demolitions. And this is the older Monster Jam ones. As you guys know, Hot Wheels and Monster Jam have parted ways as far as their licensing, so they're just selling out the old stuff. We got this giant Batmobile, this Dark Knight Batmobile, and this one's actually really big. And it comes with a set. I don't know what this duck thing is. Maybe I need to catch up on the Batman movies to understand what the duck is. If you know what the duck thing is, post in the comments down below. I'd be interested to know. And we got this Batman versus Superman type of vehicle. There's some more of the character cars some more monster jam stuff let's go on down here and see we got some matchbox stuff we got some matchbox chevrolet set check this one out this is pretty cool the avalanche i like this avalanche set this is really cool we got lots of really cool chevys in here i don't think there's the full set so we'll have a quick look through and if we can find the full set we'll pick it up but otherwise we'll just pass on it and what else do we have up here oh we got some more of the world's smallest hot wheels and this is like some track set for it so you can actually race the world's smallest hot wheels this is the drag set for it. It's got a little finish line. It's got some mini track included. That is pretty neat. We might have to pick one of those up one day. Not for today. We'll leave it on, on the side. We got a nice matchbox set here as well. This looks like a nine car set. Got some interesting stuff in there. This is a, looks like a Mazda Miata or the MX-5 exclusive car. I haven't seen that one before. That's the newer one too. We got some singles as well in the actual matchbox. Let's see what we have in here. We got the Chevy truck. 
Uh, there's the uh, BMW i3, which was really hard for me to find before. Now I seem to see them everywhere. So we'll pass on that one for now. And what else do we have in here? We got the Escalade as well. That was a really cool one that I was looking for before, but I already picked that one up. So we'll pass on that. What is this? We got this action set rapid replay. This is pretty neat. This is like a, a bigger set, unassembled set. What is this one here as well? We got the hammer drop challenge. That one's pretty cool. And what is this one? This one's kind of flipped over. Let's flip it around here. This is a, a big DC set. Bruce Wayne included expanding back cave. Wow, these are some crazy sets that I have. I've never seen sets like this before. Check this out, huge. All right, okay, okay. This is a this is an interesting set. We we might have to try this set. That's a $44.99 for that set. We'll leave it there for now. What else do we have up here? We got this one right here as well. Wow, this is another big one. Adventure Infinity War. What is this on the back? We got all these cars that shoot up and stuff that shoots out. The big guy in the middle. Uh, we got, uh, what is this, Minecraft set as well? Check this one out. We got some Minecraft characters included in this one as well. What is going on? These sets are awesome. There's so many amazing sets that are coming out. There's another big Minecraft set as well. The Wither Summon. I don't know much about Minecraft, so you guys might have to tell me in the comments down below more about the Minecraft sets. And we got some more of the Hot Wheels AIs. Looks like you can buy some more singles of them. We got some other sets. We got cars. Oh, check this out. The Ultimate Launcher. Eight car cars three set. This is cool. Wow, this is really cool. Let's see what the back looks like. And it's got a little handle to carry. We can shoot eight cars out of it. Connects with the track. $39.99, we, oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the list of car, of possible ones to get. We might have to pick that one up as well. I do have a lot of the Cars 3 cars that we could use for it. We got this one right here. This is the, the big rig from Cars 3. This thing is huge. Big Mac Lightning McQueen. All right, and we go down the other aisle. We see the Ultimate Garage right here. Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage. They're still selling this. It still seems to be pretty popular. Although at $1.99, I don't know if they're selling a lot of them. Well, we go down the another aisle here and we find some RC cars. Check out these. We got some nice looking RC cars. There's huge line of RC cars. Let's get a closer look at some of these other ones that are here. We got these big Jeeps down here. Check this one out. This one's huge. Venom, the 4x4 Jeep. We got uh, some sort of like motorbike here. We got another Jeep. Uh, what are these sets right here? Micro boats. Okay, we got a RC boat with a shark going at it. That's pretty neat. Let's see what else we have up here. We got a Camaro ZL1. We got the Mustang GT350R, the Shelby one. We got a Nissan GTR down here. And uh, wow, that one's really cool. Then we got a Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0. And we got a bunch of, look at up there. They are just stacked for Christmas time. There's so many cool RC cars. Check this one out, light and sound. This big fire truck as well from Fastlane. Like, I'm sure this does like a lot of different sounds and stuff like that. I, I kind of want to sit here and just play with it, but we'll leave it for now. We'll pass on that one for now. Let's go down here and see what else we have. We've got uh, Fastlane. Fastlane seems to be like similar style to Hot Wheels. They make like a lot of Hot Wheels tracks, but these ones look like RC tracks. So those are pretty cool. Those are pretty neat. Looks like they got LEDs around them. We got these like construction type vehicles. We got this like garbage truck. We got some all these like so many cool toys like there's there's so much cool stuff they're coming out with whenever you think that there's something cool they come out with one year they always top it the next year so they got, got a lot of cool cars see the fast lane ones see here's the ones that are similar to the hot wheels these tracks these are like hot wheels tracks we might have to try these out one day and compare them with hot wheels check this out this is like a bus with the accordion middle in it this would be fun to play with that would be really cool all right let's see what else we have up here we got another fast lane set this is like a big carry truck all right what else do we have down this aisle we've got some more model cars and stuff check out all of these we've got lots of different model cars down here we got a look at the four gts the camaros down here wow these are these are neat these are from i'm not sure which brand they're from let's check out this one up here we got a nice little yellow four gt with the white stripes and that's pretty neat big time muscle got some corvettes 
Uh, there's some Camaro, some Cobras. Look at this RX-7. Oh, I love RX-7s. That's pretty neat. Check out this up here. When we actually look on the top and zoom in, we can see the Bugatti Chiron. And that looks like an RC Bugatti Chiron. So I didn't see that on the shelf. So if you really want to get good cars, make sure you look up while you're shopping. All right, P-Timers, we are back inside of my car. Now, normally this would be the part where I go over all the stuff that I purchased in the store for the peg hunting video. But... I didn't actually buy anything, and that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy anything. The reason is, there was just so many sets within the store, I was kind of overwhelmed with what I should buy. Now, this Toys R Us is really close to my house, so what I'm going to do is actually, I want you guys to post in the comments down below which sets you guys want to see on the Peak Time Racing channel. And whichever sets kind of get the most votes, maybe we'll do two or three sets. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to pick those sets up and then we're going to do some unboxing, some reviews of those on the channel. I'm really leaning towards that Cars 3 eight car launcher. So that's probably one that I'm going to get. And then we'll probably get a couple more after that. So let me know in the comments down below, which hot wheel set you like the best. And we'll feature those on the channel in the near future. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you smash that thumbs up guys and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.